Hi, you're eight. Welcome to uh, Clock Project Lesson 7. Uh, in this one, we are going to look at getting your clock face ready for laser cutting. And we're going to do that using 2D design. So, in terms of uh, where we should be so far, you should already have created your clock face. And remember, it doesn't have to look like mine. Um, and if you're not sure how to do that, go back and have a look at video number six. That will show you what you need to do. Um, you should have already saved this as a DXF. Uh, remember, we did that by right clicking on the face, going export face as, but uh, there's more details on that in the previous video. Uh, once you've done that, you can actually close Inventor. I'm just going to minimize it for now. And we're going to start to use a program called 2D Design, one that you may have used in year seven already. So 2D Design lives here on the desktop. You just double click and it will load. Uh, you get this box up here in the middle, uh, just press enter and that box will disappear. What we now need to do is load in your clock face design that you created using the previous video. So to do that, we go to the top and go to file and we go to import file. Uh, now we need to find your clock uh, folder and we'll do that using the drop down. Remember you click your name, you then go to documents, you find your technology folder and your clock power, uh, your clock folder. You then find clockface.dxf, that's the one we created last time, and you click open. Now you want to set the units as millimeter, otherwise it's going to get the scale completely wrong and you'll end up with a clock the wrong size. Everything else should stay the same, just make sure millimeters are selected. Then click OK. And there is your clock design already imported into 2D Design. Now when you click it, it's automatically going to select everything in one go. What we need to do is ungroup it for now so that we can change some of the colors to the right settings for the laser cutter. So to do that, you select the uh, clock face and using your keyboard, you press Control and then U and just tap U several times to ungroup and what you should be able to do now is click on individual parts of your clock like so now the outside line is already the right color black on the laser cutter is the outside cut any shapes you've got on the inside that you want to cut all the way through need to be changed to blue so let's do that now if you hold down the shift key that's the one with the little arrow um, on your keyboard just above control you can then click on each of these shapes on the inside that we are going to cut out. And don't forget about that hole in the center as well. We need that one too. And up at the top, you've got line and then col for color next to it. You're going to click that one there where it says color. And we're going to use this blue down here on the bottom row. Don't use any other blue, just that one. And what that tells the laser cutter is anything in blue needs to be cut out first. So far, so good then. We've now got something that could work. The last stage is going to be to imply, apply any engraving. Now, engraving always happens in red. And what this is going to do is burn on whatever you've got in red. It's going to be burnt onto the surface of your clock. And we can use this for applying the numbers. Um, I'd recommend you put your name on it as well. Or if you wanted to, you could put a design or a picture on there as well. So I'm going to put numbers around my clock so that I know where they uh, need to go and what time it is. And I'm going to do that using the text command. And what you do, you select that and you click. And I'm going to put in the number one. And if you highlight it and go to settings, you can change all of the uh, font. I'm going to keep the current font. Uh, but I might make it bold and I'm going to probably have to change the height a little bit, probably make the numbers 10 millimeters high. And you can see I've got the number one there. Once again, though, it's the wrong color at the moment. So I'm going to move it to where I want it to go first. I'm going to change the color to red for both the line and the fill. So remember you use the color for that one and that one and change them both to red. You can then do the same for all of the other numbers around the clock. So let's just recap how to do that now. You go to text, 
click where you want the text to go, type it in, and you can go on, so on and so forth. I'll do that quickly now, and then I'll restart the video. And there we have it, there's uh, all my numbers, and they're all in red as well, because these want to be engraved on. Um, at this point as well, I would recommend putting your name on your clock, just makes it a little bit easier to identify whose it is. So I'll do that quickly now, using the text tool. So I'll just put my name on Mr. Thomas, obviously. Um, don't forget as well, we want to engrave this. So we're gonna change the color to red for both of those. And I might shrink it down as well, just cause I don't need it too big. And if I put it somewhere around here, it'll be hidden underneath the clock face so it won't need to stay on display. If you wanted to leave it there, you can. As it stands right now, that will work and you'll be able to cut that out and uh, get that laser cut and engraved. I would also think about putting some fancy design or pattern on here. You could have a look at using some of the lines. So you know, you could start creating some fancy splines and shapes uh, to create some really nice patterns. Don't forget though, whatever you do, it needs to be in red. Or if you wanted to add some extra cutouts, you can do those in blue as well. So you could create some little shapes. Uh, you could use polygons. Uh, we've also got just the normal shapes up here. So if you want to do uh, rectangles, hexagons, triangles, whatever you like, you can use those options to create some different cutouts on your clock as well. But whatever you do, try and make it as cool and as unique as possible. Don't forget though, put the numbers on so that we know what time it is and don't forget to put your name on there as well. Once you've done that, you are now gonna save this into your folder. So let's do that now. We're gonna go file, save as. In your year eight clock folder, if you haven't got opened it already, don't forget you can find that by clicking on your name, documents. You go down to technology and then we'll save it as clock face. Remind yourself it's in 2D design though by writing clock face 2D design and click save. Once you're at this stage, you are now ready to save this in the uh, folder ready for laser cutting. And your teacher will now direct you on where to save it. If you finish this really quickly, I would suggest you go back to Inventor and you have a go at creating a couple of options for the shape of your clock face. Also, as an extension task, why don't you try and import your clock face in Inventor into your assembly so that you can see what it will look like once you add in all of the clock components. If you've managed this so far though, really, really well done. And I look forward to seeing all of your creations when they get made. Don't forget though, if you do get stuck at any point, please just rewind the video and have another go. Good luck.